the energy vibration reading for all the fire signs and moon horizon sign this is the month of november full moon and i want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful support likes and shares remember we are there for the friday evening um we're there for the friday evening we can read it and we are also there on sunday for one question um and one card pulling so please join me live on Fridays and Sundays for the weekend and for one card reading I want to say to each and every person thank you for being back I'm seeing the energy of the Aries which is the center the Sun is here the Sagittarians are here the Leos are here this is wonderful so we have um, Aries Leo and Sagittarius so this is going to be a good full moon for you fire sign people so this is the reading for the Aries Leo and Sagittarius okay this is good you're actually the Aries um, is going to be having the effect on the Leo's in this full moon so ladies and gentlemen let's go in this reading please remember um that uh, this is the general reading um the rest of the reading you can find on on demand okay this reading takes about 50 minutes to an hour this week because there's a lot of information that is coming out this um full moon reading so venus is in retrograde and she's here for you fire sign people it's going to affect the, the leos and if the leos are in relationship with the liberans the liberans could be coming back in your life so be aware of that now venus in retrograde is going to affect also uh, the people who are having relationship with the tauruses it could be the aries tauruses this is going to be affecting you venus so you're going to be receiving um, relationships coming back in your life that you need to bring an end to now the energy of the Sun is here which is so beautiful for you guys this is a wonderful energy with the energy of the Sun it is the energy of the Aries so you Aries this is going to be a very productive um, full moon for you Aries so as we look um, we are going to be looking at the moon sign so these are the people who were born after 6 p.m. and you have to deal with a legal situation or um, the Sagittarians okay this can be a legal situation or it can be the Sagittarians so it could um, um, some of you Sagittarius could have a legal situation it's going to affect you because I'm seeing the scale of balance um, some um, um, karmatic situation could be coming an end for you Sagittarius <clears throat> and I'm seeing the energy of the Aquarius so obviously there is a situation a legal situation that is happening now the energy of the Leo is uh, uh, most of you are going to be receiving help <clears throat> from the Leos the Leos are going to be here bringing you help this is a wonderful wonderful this is the best reading I've had so far um, <clears throat> for you fire sign people and this is going to be wonderful so let's take a look and see what is going to be happening because Venus in retrograde with Venus here and especially for the people who are in relationships with a Taurus some of you um, Aries with Taurus energy is going to be fabulous for you guys okay so let's see what is going to be affecting you guys because I'm seeing the moon people have to, a legal situation to deal with it's going to affect the um, Sagittarius and the obsolete um, people so let's look at that let's see how it's going to affect each and every person so for the Venus um, we have some trickery because um, Venus is in a retrograde so there are some uh, some trickeries with the Taurus coming in they're going to bring expansion to your world so that is good um, whatever the confusion is um, the Sun is going to be showing you it's going to remove in the confusion out of your life so that is good so Venus in retrograde is bringing back some tricky people in your life so be aware of it especially your Leo's it's going to affect the Leo's and people who are in relationship with the Tauruses it can affect you guys let's see what's happening with Libra this is good um, there's joy happiness um, with whatever the scale has to balance the Sagittarian um, <clears throat> impartiality 
Um, so it's obviously a legal situation that is going to affect the obsolete and the Sagittarius people but whatever it is with ju justice and the liberals it's going to be good I'm seeing prior that is coming in some of you are dealing with some Aquarians and you need to have prior prior it's very important I'm seeing prior coming up also it came up for the Aquarians for the air signs and it is here for the people who are dealing with the Aquarians you need to pray prior is the only thing that is going to be helping this situation let's see what is coming out for the, the Aries we have enlightenment so you Aries with the energy of the Sun you're going to be enlightening the Leos and the Sagittarius you Aries with, with the Sun you're going to be enlightening um, these um, people that is coming in so this is going to be good this is going to be wonderful what I'm seeing is good um, this um, this is dissipating is coming up for the Leos whatever is transpiring in the world of the Leos some dissipating is going to be coming in the Aries you guys are going to be enlightened and this is good the outcomes is wisdom so you Aries are going to be awakened and aligned with your own wisdom and guidance to things around you and this is going to be good this is a beautiful reading because enlightenment is the center of your reading which is going to affect the Sun and moon sign people the Sun and moon sign people and this is beautiful because the Sun came up for the Sun people the trickiness whatever trickiness is coming up is uh, um, <clears throat> we're going to be seeing what is the trick what is the trickiness that is going to be coming up because so some trickery is coming in and this is the energy of the nine of ones protect yourself from someone whoever is returning in your life whether you're a Sun moon rising person whoever is a returning in your life protect yourself from these this person okay expansion with the Taurus some of you some opening some expansion some situation especially if you're a cup person um, that means you're a Taurus cup person with the Aries uh, some expansion is coming in and um, money um, the people who are connected with the Tauruses um, money is going to be happening for you there's an expansion there was the feel of money coming in for you okay so this is good let's look with the energy of the Sun whatever confusion is there the energy of the Sun is going to be removing those confusions so we have the six of swords some of you are going to be seen clearly after this full moon some of you the full moon the Sun is is bringing clarity to a very confusing situation so I always call upon Archangel Gabriel to show me clarity to give me clarity about the situations that are going in my life at this moment this is what I always say Librans and the joy and a legal suit um, a strong foundation for the Sagis. Okay, the Sagis or and the Leos are going to have a strong foundation. You guys are going to be winning. So the Leos and the Sagi, you're going to be winning this situation, whatever it is. You Sagis and Leo, if you have a legal situation, you're going to be winning. Let's see what is coming out for the Sagittarius impartiality. Um, uh, impartiality. Um, some of you are going to be leaving a situation behind. Okay, um, impartiality comes up with the Sagittarius and the Opportunity. So you're going to be leaving a situation behind because you have won the situation. You're going to be moving forward, happiness and joy. Whatever the legal situation, some of you um, who are um, the Moon people are going to be winning a situation, and you're going to be moving forward. This is a very very good. And for the Aquarius the eight of swords so eight 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 so you guys have twice eight so some money is going to be coming in for some of you um, if you're in business some money is going to be coming in for some of you okay there's a lot of uh, whatever whoever was dealing with a situation um, with an Aquarius you need to, to pray over the situation Whoever, whether you're a sun sign or a moon sign, pray over the situation. If you have a situation with an Aquarius, it could be a child, it could be someone who is in your life. Pray over the situation because only prayers is going to be helping you. The energy of dissipating comes in for the Leo. So what is affecting you? 
um, you Leos come back in your own reading some of you um, Leos um, it is going to affect this full moon has an effect on the Leos between the ages of 25 and 45 okay you can see this here happening it is going to affect the Leos the Leos between the ages of 25 and 45 there is a situation that is going to affect you and here it is coming out and what is transpiring is that uh, some of you are going to be receiving enlightenment enlightenment to what is coming out okay so let's see with the Aries and the enlightenment <coughs> what is going to be happening the Aries and the enlightenment uh, the king of cup is coming in the king of cup is coming in and he is going to be helping you so the king of cup the enlightenment is that the king of cups is going to be coming in and he is going to be helping you and this is going to be good so there are offers of a new start, new beginning with people in your life. Um, the inner wisdom and guidance is here, but also the energy of the Two of Cups. So this is good. What is happening is that some of you are going to be enlightened. Uh, your spirit guides could be coming in and bringing some enlightenment into your life. This is a really, really good and really positive. So again. Um, for you guys whoever is returning in your life in a love relationships be very careful and protect your heart okay because this is happening for most of you people between the ages of 25 and 45 you, um, it's going to be affecting you um, you men and it's all about you taking the time to make the right decision it's a really 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 going to affect you guys so Ladies and gentlemen, um, I want to wish you a really wonderful full moon. Um, these are a lot of stuff that is going to be happening. Whatever legal matters the the moon people have, or some of the sun sun people, it's going to be a celebration. You're going to be winning. You're going to be overcoming this, and you're going to decide now. I'm walking away. Okay, so whatever that was happening with a legal situation, some of you are going to be coming out winning on and, and coming out good because tw twice. Um, the scale of balance is here you have a strong foundation there's some joy um, that is coming in the eight of cups means that you some of you are going to decide to leave a situation behind because it no longer serves you and this is very good because what is happening is that for you Sajis, so whatever that was happening to you um, that was not very healthy whatever unhealthy aspect of yourself or situation is going to be released now and this is going to be God whatever confusion that you have whatever confusion whether in a relationship or with someone else uh, this is going to be showing up some of you are going to be receiving um, help you Aries or the people who have uh, Aries Sun Moon arising in their chart uh, is going to be receiving help uh, from a Pisces cancer or a scorpion this man is 45 years and older okay there is going to be a really positive connection some of you if you are a, um, a Leo you're going to be receiving help from your father or someone who is older who is going to be um, supporting you okay so ladies and gentlemen I want to say to you um, I'm leaving you here for the rest of the people who are going to be coming over on on demand I will see you over on demand and I want to say have a wonderful full moon namaste okay welcome to the people on on the mount okay 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 we are going to be looking at the rest of the energies it's going to be a wonderful month for the people who are in um who are in legal matters because those things are going to be working out in your favor okay so um that was good whatever legal matter it's going to be working out in your favor so this is <clears throat> so wonderful and so good wisdom is the name of the game another sign got also the energy of wisdom so um this is um very good alrighty so we're calling up in the angels and guides for the fire sign people to show us what is about to come out for this full moon of November for the fire sign people so we're calling up in the angels and guides uh, and the universal angels the light beams to come in and show us what is going to be happening 
for the full moon of November for the fire sign people so let's see what is happening okay it's gonna be things coming in fast and it could be um, if you have a business things coming in fast or if you are an intuitive person um, clear connection with the universe is here for you okay clear connection with the universe is here for you I'm seeing the four of swords a lot of people it's time oh there's a lot of thoughts everyone is in their head in November everyone is in their heads in November you are having to deal with the hair sign people you fire sign in November Wow it's a lot of stuff but uh, the um, the seven of swords you're going to be realizing some of you are going to be there's a victorious outcome thank God okay the seven of swords oh there is a victor is a wheel of fortune okay so a lot of you are dealing with some strange karmatic situation okay because the wheel of fortune is here so we're going to be looking at what is happening some of you um, was in a waiting period this waiting period is over okay some of you if your son is in um, Aquarius Gemini or Libra or if this is your partner this is a karmatic situation that is going on um, some of you are going to realize that uh, someone between the ages of 25 and 45